Hey everyone. Well, I'm here today at the Holy Cross Cemetery in Colma, California. And I was really hoping to find the gravesite of Paul Kantner from the uh, Jefferson Airplane and Jefferson Starship. His uh, Finding Grave Memorial page says he's buried here in the St. Gabriel section. But then I looked on the directory and there is no St. Gabriel section. So that happens a lot. And uh, there's one picture and it looked like it would be pretty helpful. I thought, well, I could easily find that, but I didn't realize that there are thousands and thousands of headstones like the ones behind me. <laughs> and even the one that he has, it's a black headstone. There are thousands of those that look, they look just like his. <laughs> the only thing I know for sure is that uh, from the picture is that it's up against a, a hedge along the back, one of the back walls, but there's there's probably a hundred back walls. I mean, this cemetery is massive. So I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to find them, but I'm gonna keep looking. So once again, I was just getting ready to leave the cemetery and I thought maybe I would uh, come back a little bit later and try again. And I looked up and I saw this newer section up here toward the top of the hill and I thought, well, let me try, let me just look up here because there was this hedge and I remember a hedge being in the one photo that was on the Finding Great Memorial. So I drove up here and sure enough, there's a St. Gabriel section right here, even though the Find a Grave Memorial, or not, the Find a Grave Memorial does say it's in the St. Gabriel section, but the directory at the, when you come in the front gate, doesn't list a St. Gabriel section at all. So it's probably because this is a newer section and that's an older directory, so just so you know. So when you come in the front gate, go all the way to the very top until you see the older mausoleum, make a left and come, actually it's just, there's the older mausoleum right there. So that's the, uh, the side of it. Whoops, where is it? <laughs> right there. And then you just uh, go past the mausoleum, make a first right, and come on up here to this uh, section by the hedge. And you come right to Paul Kantner's final resting place. Now there's someone behind him. It doesn't look like uh, they're related. There's like a row here of cement with the two headstones, one on each side. I suppose it could be someone that's related, but it doesn't have the same name. So I don't know. But I was just glad that I was able to finally find his uh, grave. Paul Kantner was one of the founding members of the psychedelic rock group Jefferson Airplane in the 1960s. And later in the 1970s, they changed their name to Jefferson Starship. But for me, I'll always remember them for their two mega hit songs, White Rabbit and Somebody to Love, both in 1967 on the Surrealistic Pillow album. Both of those songs were top 10 hits and two of their biggest hits of all time. And even today, they're considered among the top rock songs of all time. Also, what's really interesting is that Signe Tolley Anderson, who was also a co-founder of the group, died on the exact same day as Kantner, and they were both 74 years old. How weird is that? Now, at the moment, Anderson's final resting place is unknown. So if anyone happens to know where it is, please let us know in the comments section. I read, or I heard just the other day, just within a couple of weeks ago, that uh, Marty Ballin, another one, or Balin, another one of the uh, Jefferson Airplane founders, just died in New York. I'm sure his uh, final resting place hasn't been revealed or discovered yet. So when it is, you know, I'll definitely visit if it's uh, somewhere I can get to, especially if it's here in uh, California. It'd be cool if it were here up near San Francisco or in this cemetery. You can't really think of San Francisco in the 60s without thinking of Jefferson Airplane. And in case you can't read his epitaph, 
It reads, Let there be travelers who venture far from the beaten path, and let one of them be me. I can relate to that, and I'm guessing a lot of you can too. So Paul Cantor's gravesite didn't have a GPS, so I went ahead and added the GPS to the Find a Grave Memorial page so it'll be easy for you to find now. And then I also showed you how to find it in relationship to the the mausoleum, which I'll show you again behind me. So that's the mausoleum. Paul Kantner is uh, just to the west of the the main mausoleum at the top of the hill. So let me know if you visit and uh, what you think in person. And and just a word of advice, if you'd like to see the grave site or the gravestone a little bit uh, clearer, come in the afternoon when the sun is a little bit more to the west. I'm here in the morning, it's around 10 o'clock, and the grave site, his name is in shadow because the sun is coming up behind him. Now, for those of you who are interested in seeing a little bit more of the cemetery and would like to see exactly how to find Kantner's grave from the street, I'm going to drive through the entrance gates and I'm going to drive all the way up to the mausoleum at the top of the hill and then his grave is just to the left as I mentioned earlier. Now there are quite a number of other famous people buried in this cemetery and this does happen to be one of the largest cemeteries in Colma, if not the largest. And so I'll show you some of the other famous people I've visited in separate videos. I'll also show you a little bit more of the cemetery itself and some of the not so famous people but just as interesting. I don't think I've ever mentioned this before but my car's name is Casper. I'm assuming you all remember Casper, the friendly ghost. If you're a baby boomer like me, then I'm sure you do. And the reason I named him Casper is because in 2006, I purchased him on Halloween. And so I just figured since it was white and I bought it on Halloween, the Casper was the perfect name, especially since I knew that the two of us would be visiting cemeteries together for the rest of our lives. And since I'm here in Colma, California, also known as the City of the Dead, and Halloween is just a few days away, I thought it was a perfect time to share with all of you. So have any of you named your cars? Any other Caspers out there? A Casper is just about as close as I've ever gotten to seeing a ghost. How about you guys? Any ghost sightings out there? Anyway, when you reach the top of the hill and you see the mausoleum in front of you, you make a left, and as I mentioned earlier, Kantner's final resting place is just to the left-hand side of the mausoleum. It's easy to find now that you have a GPS and you have this video to help you. So if you're a fan of Paul Kantner and you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend and leave a comment down below. And if you haven't already subscribed, you can do that down below as well. And I'll hope to see you on my next road trip to the past.